Yes, 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 yes. Enough stalling before right. Dos comes at me with the Monty Python shit again. I'll do it again. Moving forward, here's my ring. <laughs> Boo! It's not voice acting. Boo! Boo! I want your money back. Boo! Mm. I think. I mean, if you're gonna nag, save it for the commercials. God, it sounds like anybody ever who's watching TV in the '90s. I love the fact that people don't really understand that was what it was like living, <laughs> fucking back in the '90s. It's like before streaming was a thing. <laughs> Streaming, trying to throw advertisements in here, here, there, and everywhere for whatever fucking reason. Mm -hmm. I will not. Everyone wants to play baseball. We don't have enough people without you. Not my problem. He's voice acting. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Mr. Hilgert says. I don't care what Mr. Hilgert says. He can't tell me what to do. He's not my dad. Goddamn, Peacock with a snapback. <laughs> ooh. Just, ooh. About time you get the fucking backhand, I'm just saying. <laughs> Front hand and backhand. Kit two times. Both cheeks. <laughs> my dad's dead. All right, Batman. My parents are dead. <sighs> so is yours. So is everyone's. Going all edgy. Boy, is that Lincoln Park I hear? <laughs> mm. Skull girl got them all. <laughs> She'll get us too. Uh, well, if you're gonna be that pessimistic, sure, be a couch potato for the rest of your all short of all short of your life. Right. <laughs> but the skull girl's gone. And hey, hey, what's still on my line? Oh well, but the skull too. girl's gone. <laughs> Are you stupid? There's gonna be another skull girls and another after that. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'd rather watch cartoons. It's more fun playing. <laughs> More fun than playing house with you nerds. Jeez. What a fucking downer, this kid. Mm. I've hung out with people like this, unfortunately. Yeah. I've had enough. No more TV for you until you go outside. Hey, turn it back on. Why do you care anyway? Because I'm a maid and taking care of everyone is my job. So what you're saying is we're about to take her job? I thought we didn't do politics yet. <laughs> <laughs> you're too much job! <laughs> you're not even real made. Mind your own business. But I could be. <laughs> and to stop being lazy and act your age. Act your age, giddy two shoes. It's weird being on the reverse end of this. Stop! You're going to break the TV. It's got a weird fucking change of roles. Yes. I know, right? Usually I'm the one trying to keep you. In, I'm well, not even keep you in line. Trying to keep you from doing extra shit because that just involves cleanup, and I don't want to do mm -hmm. it. Right. <laughs> no, you're not. You're gonna break it. Oh man, I remember those days, the fat TV with the big booty on the back <laughs> no, of it. No, 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 see, that's the thing. It's like, you don't break those TVs. Those TVs break the floor. And the wall and everything else, because when those TVs mm -hmm. break... Know your place! Argus Agony! Aegis Reflector! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say Aegis Reflector, sir? I bet, Marie, just like old times. You're as stubborn as ever. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black there? <laughs> I am enjoying this. Stop this pointless fighting, Patricia. I can't control this power forever. Leave now while you still can. Oh, so you want me to leave you alone? Fat chance! I've nearly eliminated the Medici family. Why must we fight when I'm so close to making my wish come true? Uh, it's Medici, sir. Medici. You see me over there with the script reading glasses? Medici. Medici. Meteorama. <laughs> <laughs> because your wish sucks, 
Who asked for all these zombies and dead mom? Yeah, that's kind of true. Who the fuck asked for these zombies and dead monsters? I want my friend back. Like, yeah, like, why would you raise an army of the undead? That's kind of like ass backwards. Well, technically, she's making the army for her own use. I understand that, but still, though, she technically is more or less killing the mobsters, adding their undead corpse to her army to kill more of the mobsters. Exactly. It's a bit of an ass backwards way to go about this, but it fucking works. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. You can't save me, just as I could not save you. Crawling in my skin. Seriously, who's playing Lincoln Park? This chick sounds edgy as hell. It's gonna be edgy. The only penance left for my cowardice is to kill the ones responsible for our suffering. I will see this through to the very end. Penance? You mean like a penance stare? Hey, look, it's squiggly. Too bad Dio's not here. Mm-hmm. Mm can't reason with her, Peacock. Hey, look, you get the next one. Ah, but suck on it. We're having a moment, a cool moment. See, that sounds more appropriate for Das. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you, you know what you're doing? <laughs> you know, there's no chance of that. Just stick to the script. We only need one good shot. I know, Das actually reading the script. I'm scared too. <clears throat> I still can't believe, still can't believe to what is surely to be the most full, foolhardy, preposterous, and perilous. perilous plan I've ever heard. There's a lot of P's in there, man. P -p 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 Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the Vox Populi, now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified, and has vowed to vanquish these venal and villain vermin, vanguarding vice and vouchsafing the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. I don't know. I don't know. I could think of one plan that was crazier. That sounds like Das right there. Mm. <laughs> That was to save the, save the world from the from Queen Lamia. Do not rescue one girl if this goes wrong. We all die. Oh come on, that's all you. T <laughs> that's all. Two of you already are dead. Well, he's not fucking. She's not fucking wrong about that. <laughs> so what's there to lose? I mean, besides, if there a chance we can save Marie, I'm doing whatever it takes. Not find this plan either, but I want to believe it's possible that we can save a Skullgirl. I mean, that is a bit of a stretch. You're trying to save the antagonistic force of the game. And if we can save Marie, and maybe there's hope for Carol. Okay, let's do this. If you refuse to listen, I have no choice. Behold how insignificant you are before the power of Skullgirl. And Loki. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, it's a three on one. Wasn't there voice acting in this game? Yes, there is voice acting, but as new. I am playing as out. the boss character, Dos. I'm concerned. Enjoy. This is probably the most broken you're ever gonna be. Straight up. Hey, yes, there is voice acting in this game, but for like new characters and stuff like that, as they're added, the voice acting isn't brought on yet, basically. Like, it's not, it's not installed in the files. Probably. They haven't done it yet. Yeah, because uh, Marie just came out in a short amount of time. Dude, you could just spam away with so much of this shit. I know, this is just unfair. This actually kind of reminds me of like, when you're playing uh, Galactus and like, Ultimate Marvel. Marvel, yeah, I was like, this is just mean. Well, like... And even, like, the game is not great at fucking responding to Galactus. Remember the guy that was cheating that had, like, three Galactuses? Yeah, I know, and I won. But anyway... Because <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> but that's actually kind of cool. They actually gave you a fully powered Marie. That's just... This is just unfair. This is mean. I, I'm sorry. To, like, bruh, this is just... 
Yeah, no, this is... Talk about a one-sided fight. I'm glad this version of Marie's not fucking playable. Know your place. Get a new line. Stop this. I don't want to hurt you, Patricia. If I can't stop the Medici's, our suffering, our loss, all of it will amount to nothing. I cannot let that happen again. The guilty must be punished. It won't, <laughs> but it won't end there. After Medici's, what's next? <laughs> will, will you let yourself become the cause of someone else's tragedy? Metropolis is uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Metrocity, I mean. <laughs> I will not waver. I gave up my heart so much. Please, would not distract me. You sure? Because you seem you seem distracted. Look, you missed a spot. Oh no, this is some Deadpool shit. It's a would fall for such a surprise. You. <laughs> what? Squiggly now. Right. <laughs> Leviathan. Let's get to the heart of the matter. Boo! That pun was bad, and you should feel bad. Boo this man! <laughs> Is this it? All that our anger, our suffering was worth? Can it? Don't you give up? Yo, you don't get to give up. Not after everything we went through. Like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Not after you've never let me alone. Avery! On it, boss! One way ticket through space time for the scar! Come here! Ah! It hurts! Know, right? What are you doing? <laughs> it burns us! It burns us! <laughs> trying to save your life or death. Whatever. Feel ya! Keep her down! Yes, Dots, we're trying to ruin your death. I won't die without my boots! So see that I did pick the right character. <laughs> Patricia, stop! Nothing can reverse a wish from the Scarlet! This is what you wish for? Revenge? Death? Ten million stupid skeletons? Ten million and one. I was going to pick that joke, actually. This wish is all I have left! What about you? You're still here. We can save you if you stop being such an idiot! Jeez, this sounds like me talking to you now. This actually sounds like I'm talking to you. I told you we picked the right character. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, the skull heart's too strong. It's gonna tear Miss Marie in half at this rate. Oh my. Decay, where did you get here? Come on, Marie. What do you really want? Revenge or watching cartoons with your best friend? You know, watching cartoons with your best buddy sounds kind of nice. X-Men 97 is out. <laughs> Is he Doss and I in pajamas for no reason? <laughs> yeah! I. Hey, <laughs> I don't want this anymore! Speak your name. Patricia, design. help me! Something's happening to the skull heart. It's freak. Oh man, it's coming down from its high! I've never seen anything like this. The skull heart is ris resisting, the resisting the dimensional gate with such favor. It Jesus, Leviathan. Fervor. Fervor is the word you're looking for. Fervor, yeah. Leviathan, you got new space-time powers too, don't ya? Give the gal a hand. What? That's a def <laughs> definition of... Yeah, I'm reading like... Oh my god, we just picked our right characters again. I was like... Oh my god. Um, that's a definition of reckless. I want no part of it. And then Doss over there. Do it. Hurry, we can't hold her much longer. I can't control it! Do a Leviathan! It's all or nothing! I don't like this! Alright, brace yourselves! Uh, we've almost got it! Just hear, I just wanna hear like this, the most horrifying demonic screaming from it. But since it's not voice active, we're probably not gonna get it. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom! Ah! <laughs> ah, no! Stay away! Anyway, <laughs> heavens, little girl, I can make sure I can make sure the stew never threatens you again. Stew? Excuse me, stew? And the poor, poor head, head maid will be rather sensitive. Uh huh. What? Who? 
I'm sure asking both questions at the same <laughs> same answer. The Hilgard Castle, and I'm Mr. Hilgard. The man with the car? Do you remember me then? Or rather my car? At any rate, <laughs> this is good. I'm sorry we sorry there was no time for introductions when we first met, but they ha they can wait until after you have stu may be cold by now, but I promise it is not dangerous. Yeah, no, I'm concerned. Did the stew come to life? Did the, did, did the thing do, did the stew do a thing out of nowhere? Can I get some context, people? Like a comic strip or like some sort of page I can read through? Anyway. Thank you. Ah, a healthy appetite. You must feel better. Uh, no. Not surprising, uh, not surprising as you need, as you've been asleep for three days. You gave me quite a start when you, when you awoke so suddenly. Three days. Could be seven days. Yeah, I just think more along the lines of like you know Alice Cooper when he got thrown in the madhouse. You should eat before asking more questions, or if you insist on asking more questions before you eat, as long as you don't mind doing both at the same time. You were injured and in shock. You should think. Before, you should think, but fret not. This fancy ass motherfucker. Seriously, what the fuck? Am, I'm more confused as I'm continuing to read along or go along because I was expecting. All right, more fights and more stuff happening. When did this just? Oh, I'm sure there's more fights coming, but yes. I'm just confused now, Das. Eh, but he slept these past few nights, but then awake. Wake to a nightmare of the skull girl. I remember the sky turned dark and then she. she. Don't worry. We're a long, long way from. Good luck! Yeah, uh, hold on, hold on. Ruby and Glow? Romograd is my guess. Rom I don't. I, I'm. Yeah, sure, why not? Here in the mountains of Darius. Durus. Durus. Yeah, that is Durus. There's no invader. <laughs> There's no invaders here. Ever, no invaders have ever reached. I'm like, cool. No invaders have reached here. Ha! You Vikings suck. You can't even get past these mountains. Just see Olaf. That's hold my. It's a mountain. It's not fucking by the sea. See Olaf over there. <laughs> hold my mead. <sighs> right. He's gonna yeah, make Skull a. Skullgirl can't find it. Olaf could. <laughs> Man, he's like, hold my mead. He's gonna make a fucking pathway. He's gonna carve out half of a fucking mountain. I remember now. We met while you were looking for your grandson, right? <laughs> that I was. As you were looking for your parents. We decided to look together. I thought I could help. It was very, very kind of you. Everyone was running and screaming and I tripped and fell. There's then something horrible. It came out of the ground and I, I don't remember anything after that. You were hurt quite badly city was all but lost and there was no place left in the capital that we could care for you so I made the decision to take you as far away from that place as I could hope hey remember V for Vendetta fuck you <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I'm seeing the similarities here <laughs> Reckless and like driving through and yeah, sweat through it all. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm seeing the weird, like, yeah, no one in the city. Did what about your grandson? I don't know. All I know is. <laughs> all I know is that you, a child right in front of my eyes, needed help. Oh, this rich, this rich aristocrat with a heart of gold. God, we need more of those. Oh, no, you shouldn't have. I had to. Couldn't leave you there. Like, he's not wrong. That shit's going sideways. <laughs> I may have been a fool rushing madly into danger, but at least I found you. Mm -hmm. Let's speak no more of it. My grandson, I can only hope for you. For you, there's stew and rest. My mother and father, did you see them? I think you should finish your stew first. Then we can talk about what to do next. May <laughs> be that neither of us can return to... That place, I'm not gonna try it, it's just gonna burn brain cells. Romograd. Romograd. For some time. For now, hope is all we have. Ah, but first, I must know your name. Can you introduce yourself? 
I am the terror that flaps in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut to Darkwing Duck in that black screen. <laughs> Mr. Hilgard? Oh, a dream. Can Skullgird dream? Or am I finally dead? You're heavy is what you are. Get off! There's the angry now. Eh, yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Patricia, what are you doing here? You fell on me, doofus. Yeah, no, this sounds actually sounds like us now. Told you. Cause you're Told you. Because if your fat ass falls on me, I'm going to be mildly upset, to say the least. <laughs> but at least you're Marie now, right? You ain't going to throw a bunch of skeletons around and talk about how weak I am? I didn't say it that much, but I feel strange. I feel better? We did it. Squiggly better be alive so I can rub it in her face. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're doubting your genius peacock? I'm just a dumb zombie? I love nagging and eating brains? Technically not wrong, except maybe the eating brain part. How did you even do whatever it was you did? Muffin button. I legitimately read that first line as we bent the generous cock through the top chair. <laughs> it's like... Oh, you play too many age games, DOS. You play too many age games. Hey, DOS, you play too many age games. <laughs> yes, yes, we bent the ginor <laughs> we bent the ginormous cock time sphere. Yeah, yeah. All right, sure. Yeah, G ginormous cosmic that. time sphere, sir. <laughs> to try and fi uh, fling the skull girl out into the universe, but it hated that. So much, it tried turning to a bunch of crystals and exploded. See, even Marie's confused. The what? The cosmic co the gigantic cos <laughs> <laughs> the gigantic cock time sphere. <laughs> you heard what does? Brings new terms of the, <laughs> terms the angel cannon. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Doctor Avery calls it the space time continuum, but that's super boring. I came up with a much better, much better. Much way better cool name. No, it's still the just- Cosmic Cock? <laughs> I guess, but what is this feeling? Like a tiny candle inside my chest. A fragment of the skull heart? Yes, that's a tiny ember of your soul survived. This whole- It's very warm, but also very cold. Is this shard what's keeping me alive? Nah, it's the flask. L let me top you off there, buddy. Probably. The important fact is, you're alive. Well, not technically. But you know what I mean. I guess Peacock's technically alive. Squiggly's not. Squiggly's dead. Squiggly's undead, yes. Let the lab eight nerds figure that out. Yeah, let uh, let the whatever fucking organization you work for, you work with, with Reneo and Dio over there and all that shit. <laughs> You'll see scientist there, Dio. The, 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 the wolfin in the fucking lab coat. The giant, the werewolf guy in the lab coat. As Dio will mm. claim, he's not a werewolf. Bullshit. I suppose it's just one more mystery. Like what happened to you? You have metal teeth, metal arms, and no eyes. Oh, there's so much I want to ask you, Patricia, and so much I need to tell you. Well, let me tell you what happened to Peacock. A very bad day. But we have to get out of here first. This is Guiana, Double's domain, and there are worse things in this place than even her. Her ex- <laughs> I would say, her ex-husband? Anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, the bitch is here. Me, for instance. <laughs> if you don't flatter your... <laughs> if I do flatter myself. If I my do flatter myself. Valentine. Marie, aren't you her boss? Tell her she's fired. Like, I mean... She has no reason to obey me anymore, and every reason to want revenge. Fine. Plan B. Avery, get us out of here. Uh, Avery, hello? Don't be cute. Just get us out of here. There's the angry I know. Fuck you. Damn it, did we get lost when the skull heart went kaboom? Told you we picked the right characters. I hate you. Now what do we have here? A skull girl without the skull heart? Should be impossible, yet here you are. I'll happily put aside revenge to give this mythical curiosity a thorough dissection. Purely in the interest of science, of course. With Brain Drain's help, I presume? Say what you will about his methods, the man gets results. I knew you'd return to your true master eventually. I'm only surprised you haven't become tired of serving one after another. It's just more efficient to work with those who share my goal. 
Even I was aligned, you understand as well as I do, that authority and morality just get in the way of doing what needs to be done. I did horrible things. Things that can't be forgiven. The price for stopping the Medici was much too great. Please don't let your resolve weaken now, Marie. That's the one thing I respected about you. That's why taking you down isn't revenge for last hope. It's simple efficiency. I don't need excuses, and neither do you. We have a simple disagreement over methodology, and there's only one way to resolve it. With a death battle! Fight! Fine, as you wish, Valentine. I will make this as simple as possible. Let's get it on! Are you ready to take your revenge? Oh shit. Now I'm just a player. Oh, hey, you actually have to fight somebody. Ah, crap baskets. Well, <laughs> time to learn. <laughs> What's that? You actually have to play the character now? Oh, and she's a character! <laughs> oh, she's got a persona summon. Or stand, however you want to fucking phrase that one. One or the other. No. Hang on. I'm curious. I'm curious. What are my supers? <laughs> yes and please? Mm-hmm. Okay, kicks. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, that's what that one does. Ah, boo, I missed! Okay, it has a short range on that grab. Okay. Short range grab? Thank <laughs> you, mm, style. <laughs> no, like, it, it probably can go farther, but we probably not doing it. One fragment of the Skull Heart still has this much power? Impossible! How can you still control your undead memes at all, let alone this many of them? For how weak you were as a Skull Girl, you really are a tenacious little brat. But I didn't call for them. Interesting. But I suppose this mystery I won't get a chance to solve. You should know exactly what to do. The most efficient method of making sure I don't ruin your plans again. Oh no. I'm tired of efficiency. Oh man, this sounds like DOS right now. I'm tired of efficiency. I just <laughs> want to do things. <laughs> Large, explosive, impactful things. <laughs> I don't want your pity. Save it for someone who deserves it. Double told me to kill you. I did not want to follow her orders. And I don't want to follow yours either. That is my result. I don't want to be like either of you. Das talking to Loki and Hans. It's a weird kind of metal conversation, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Das, writing material, look for it. <laughs> har, har, har. Mm. If you let me live, I will kill you. I know how dangerous you still are. Go ahead. Once you've paid the rest of your debts, I'm gladly let you settle this one. Ha! <laughs> It's a deal, then. I take that back. This is less Han. This is more Olok. <laughs> Doss talking about Olok and Loki. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is weird. I hate to interrupt you. <laughs> I hate to interrupt you, but no, if you, you heard... Don't. Shut the fucking fuck lie. <laughs> <laughs> hate to interrupt you, but... <laughs> but if you hurt Marie, I'll totally kill you. <laughs> also, you attacked Lab 8, so yeah. So yeah, you know, I might have to give you, <laughs> give you what, what for here now? Like, yeah, he kind of has a point. No, you gotta, you gotta go to the bridge though. So. I'm happy to give you the what for here and now. I'll baste your okay. bagel. I'll butter your muffin. I only <laughs> understand two languages: English and American. In Texan. Oh, really? You, you couldn't even go bad English. Come on, pull McLean. 
I attacked under orders from Double and the Skullgirl. Shouldn't she bear some of the responsibility too? Well, that's just to get in this soap but, territory. Uh, just shut up. Oh dear, it's almost like a perpetual cycle of violence and revenge doesn't really get you anything other than a lot of dead bodies. How about it, Valentine? <laughs> Valentine's like, yeah, no, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> There's a lesson there for your children, but not for me. <laughs> Smoke bomb. <laughs> Pretty much. Are you okay, Marie? Yes, uh, yes, thank you, Patricia. I could use a pumpkin spice latte. That would really help me over. <laughs> It's not fall season yet. You can't wear Don't care. you can't wear your UGG boots and yoga pants right now. But it would make me so comfy though. Put that sweater away. It's like 80 degrees outside. Not where I'm at. 37 degrees today. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> you're lying. You always do this. You push yourself way too hard. Yeah, Doss, put, you pushing yourself way too hard, I don't Doss. know what anybody like that. I don't know anybody like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's weird. Nobody I like know. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but it really isn't as bad as it looks. That's a fucking lie. to herself. <laughs> so that was a fucking lie. Oh, jeez. Oh, in other lies. <laughs> <laughs> in other lies today, Marie keeps telling bigger ones. Don't lie. Stop lying. You're hurting people when you lie. You're hurting yourself even more. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, geez. If you're agreeing and apologizing, it must be worse than I thought. Yeah, like Doss actually apologizing for something. Oh, man, we are really fucked if Vegeta's apologizing. It's not that contrarian. I love that fit for both of those. Oh, good. That's better. But, I mean, oh, goodness. I can't win. 